<sighs> Everything is so peaceful here. So beautiful too. What the? Ah! 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 Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How is everyone doing today? So, by now, you've probably figured out what this video is about, and, you know, <laughs> you figured why not? We've already done a bunch of other bizarre, you know, funky creatures in Halo 3, so, you know, let's do another uh, fun creature to play as, and that is the Quad Wing Bird. So, for those of you who don't know what the Quad Wing Bird is, and I actually had to look up the name of it, um, but I guess it makes sense. It's pretty obvious, judging by the name, but the Quad Wing Bird is uh, this bird on the map, Guardian. Uh, you know, outside the map, you see a bunch of these birds with four wings just flying around, and they're called quad wing birds. So, you know, with that in mind, we've already played as like a seagull, we played as a fish, we played as a rat. Let's try a little more uh, alien creature, and that would be this quad wing bird. <laughs> so, this is the uh, the regular size of the quad wing bird when we play as it. Uh, what you saw during the intro was um, <laughs> it's the same bird, but I enlarged it <laughs> to. Uh, approximately 10 times the size of this version, the uh, standard version. But uh, yeah, so as you can see, this bird actually looks pretty nice um, compared to some of the other models I've used previously. Like I remember like the fish, uh, it's it was pretty like low detailed, but this quad wing bird is, um, the details I would say are a little uh, higher resolution um, at first glance, I think. Uh, but, you know, other than that, it, you know, all the little critters in Halo 3, a lot of them look pretty good. Um, but this one is definitely um, very much more detailed. But, yeah, so, as you can see here, we're just flying around for a little bit with it. It uh, it actually looks pretty cool when you fly around in third person like this. It's like, um, it reminds me of like, like that one Battlefield 1 mission or something where he flies at like a pigeon um, to like deliver a message or something. Um, and <laughs> this is what it reminds me of, except you're an alien bird with four wings. Uh, but yeah, so that's the regular size, and you know, just for like laughs and giggles, to the f for the heck of it, um, I moved the bird to like some campaign maps, and made it like ten times the size again. And it it's just hilarious, like a really comical scene, like the Covenant, um, like pretty much getting devoured by the bird, and then like they're trying to shoot it and like chase it, and it's just like out of nowhere, this giant it's like giant like pterodactyl like bird <laughs> just like swoops in basically just like we did at the intro <laughs> um but yeah and then like here actually something's interesting actually the bird's lighting is also like weird like at this spot there's not supposed to be like such bright lighting but the um, the quad wing bird it's really lit up actually despite the actual map lighting there uh so it's a little interesting uh tidbit about the bird um, just like the fish though, if you make it too big and you switch to a third person camera, uh, the camera can only zoom out so much, uh, under like the standard settings. So that's why like when I'm in third person, it doesn't look too great. Like it's like zoomed in really close. And of course up close, you can see that like it's actually pretty low detailed, low, low detailed textures. But, um, you know, this time at least the, uh, for the campaign, I made the bird go uh, slow enough so that, um, go to free camera mode. So a few things to know, uh, in this case, I just simply replaced the Spartan or Master Chief with the bird. So that's why the bird's basically just hopping and bouncing around. Um, but unlike, so pretty much like all the other creatures, the bird cannot pick up weapons. It can't use weapons. It can't throw grenades or anything. It can't use vehicles, of course. Um, and then like the fish, I didn't make the dead body giant. I just kept the default so you can, guys can get an idea of what it looks like. But, um... When it dies, it actually breaks up into a few pieces, the body and the wing. But yeah, so, so far the rat is the only creature in Halo 3, so far, that can pick up, hold, and use weapons for some strange reasons, though, that I, that I cannot fathom why. But yeah, so in our previous videos, we've done like the Warthog run each time with these creatures. This time, you know, I figured we'd mix it up a little bit, and uh, I... <laughs> Uh, I replaced Guilty Spire during the final boss fight with the giant bird. This one's only five times the uh, the size, because when I did ten times the size, it was way too big. But five times is actually okay, quote-unquote. Um, 
And yeah, <laughs> you basically doing like a giant boss fight against a giant like pterodactyl. And like here in first person, like when it gets really up close to you, like it's beak, it looks like it's about to eat you or something. Uh, until Johnson hits it with his laser. <laughs> and I don't know, it's just, <laughs> I like burst out laughing the first time I like saw this uh, when I was testing it out. Uh, it actually works pretty well <laughs> with, for Guilty Spark to be like this giant bird. Uh, however, and pretty much for the same reason that you can't hold or use weapons as the bird, um, this bird version of Guilty Spark also cannot fire its beams at you, but it can still use the um, the gravity field to push you back away from the uh, the console there. But other than that, it can't it can't attack you. It just kind of floats there and floats and sputters basically. Uh, and then when you blow it up finally, and it just kind of goes poof <laughs> aside from the explosion. But yeah, so there you guys have it. That is uh, what it's like to play as the quad wing bird from the map Guardian. Both regular size and extra, extra large, essentially. Or rather, ten times the size. But yeah, so if you guys found that to be uh, interesting and or <laughs> amusing, uh, make sure to leave a like. Uh, you know, leave your thoughts in the comments. Just anything else me to check out or try out or any other creature you want me to play as next. Just uh, let me know in the comments and I'll you know do my best to get around to it eventually. But yeah, so um, if you haven't already, other than that, um, just make sure to subscribe if you, um, well, if you haven't already, and then I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.